Hello my friends, today we're going to download Belena Etcher and we're going to burn an ISO image to the USB drive. First thing you want to do is open up your favorite browser and let's go to search for Belena Etcher, which is right here. Next I'm going to click on their site, make sure you got the right one, this is etcher.belena.io. Make sure you select that one because, you know, they'll be giving you viruses if you don't hit the right one and stuff. That's what they do. Next I'm going to download Etcher. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go mine for Windows 64. Because I have Windows 10 on my machine here. I'm going to go ahead and download it. As you can tell right now, it's downloaded. It's going to tell it to save. Next, I'm going to go to the file location. And there it is. And right here is my ISO image that I'm going to be burning for this sample. Okay. So let's do this. I'm going to double click on Belina Etcher. Going to agree to everything that's going on there. Let it install. It's a pretty fast install. There we go. So we have Belina Etcher installed on our machine. Okay, great. So now what do we do? Now that we have it open, let's go ahead and flash from a file. This is the ISO file that you have that you want to flash onto your USB drive. Okay. My USB is already installed, so I'm just going to go ahead and flash from file. First thing I'm going to do is select my ISO image. Hit open. Next, it's going to ask me to select a target. I hit select target. And there is my USB drive right there. 62 gig flash drive. Now make sure you select the right one because you could accidentally format and delete everything that's on a drive. Like at this one here. If I select that one. Yeah, you don't want to do that. You know, it hides the main C drive. So that's my C and D. But just, you know, just, just confirm that you are actually putting it on your USB drive that you just inserted into your machine. Hit select and hit flash. Starting it up, I'll pause the video and then uh, be back here shortly. Okay, after it's done flashing, it's going to validate the image. I highly recommend doing this just to make sure that the image got put on the USB drive correctly so you can place it in the machine of your liking and boot up to it. So let's let this finish. And there you go, guys. You have just flashed your first ISO to a USB drive. Now you can pull that drive out of your machine and put it in the machine that you want to boot up to and just Plug it in, set up your BIOS settings to tell it to boot to that USB drive, and you're good to go. Have a good one.